everyone, um, some of you have asked me for a hair tutorial, just asking how I curl my hair every day. So um, this normally takes about just about 5 to 10 minutes because you can do it in quite large sections using the large flat irons. Um, you can use the same technique with a smaller iron or by holding the heat on your hair longer, just moving your, your flat irons down your hair a bit slower to create a smaller, tighter, more ringletty curl. So to begin with, I have washed my hair with the Aussie Miracle Moist Shampoo and the conditioner as well. Um, sometimes I use the Luscious Long Shampoo and Conditioner, but my hair is a bit dry at the moment, so I find that the Miracle Moist is a lot more moisturising for my hair, and I just I love the smell of Aussie products. Also, the colour that I'm using on my hair at the moment is the L'Oreal Casting Creme Gloss um, Dark Chocolate. And when you're in the shower, just before you get out, if you run some cold water over your hair, that's going to close the cuticle and make your hair a lot more healthy and a lot more shiny. So if any of you do that, um, let me know if your hair is, your hair hair's condition um, improves just let me know in the comments below and um, I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Okay so first of all I'm going to use my Aussie Luscious Long Leave-In Conditioner. I'm just going to spritz this through the hair I'm starting from the bottom of my hair so that I don't rip, rip any knots out. Just going to gradually brush through with a paddle brush and work my way up to the top of my head. Now using my Charles Worthington Repair and Protect Serum with Thermal Protection, I'm just going to squeeze about a pea-sized amount of this onto my fingers, run it through my hands, and then take this onto the ends of my hair. Now using a hair dryer and one of the slimming applications on the end, I'm going to first of all finger dry most of the moisture out of my hair and then use a, um, a paddle brush in downward motions with the hair dryer facing or always downwards on the hair shaft um, to, to finish drying my hair off. To finish, if your hair dryer has a, um, a, cool, sh a cool shot setting or um, you could just turn the heat off, it's always good to use a a blast of cold air down your hair because um, it will always it will close your cuticle and leave your hair looking smoother, less frizzy and more shiny. Next I'm going to use my Charles Worthington Protection Spray and with this I'm just going to spritz this through the hair again. And then brush that through. Now to section off your hair, I'm going to start by running my fingers, you can use a comb if you wish, from my ears all the way around to the back and then I'm going to take this section up and clip it away. Then with the section that you have left, I'm going to split this into two using the same technique, just running my fingers through about halfway and then I'm going to clip this part up out of the way as well. Now using my wide GHDs, wide flat irons, with one part of this section, I'm just going to clamp on the hair and make sure that you turn it over 180 degrees and pull down slowly. And do the same with the next section. Okay, so I've taken down that second section that we put up and I'm just going to brush this through and with this one you want to go in the opposite direction when you're curling so if you pulled your straighteners under on your first then you want to go over with your second so on this one I'm going to go over over 180 degrees and pull down taking the middle of that section at the back, brush it through and the same again. And 
and your last section. Now from your top section that you have clipped up, you're going to want to take a wide section a couple of inches from the top of your ears. So if you run your fingers around your head again and then clip up the very top section again. And when you're curling this section, you just want to take small parts of your hair, brush through, use the same technique, but go the opposite. So if you went over onto your last section, you want to go under on this one. Just going to let you know before I carry on um, that the reason we're doing one under and one over is so that you're giving your hair more volume so that the curls go in different directions and all of your curls aren't going to end up sitting into one and um, basically it'll end up in one big ringlet. You will want to run your fingers from in line with your ear over the top of your head and take this part down. Now with this I'm going to split this into three again for a side, centre and back section. Make sure you continue this throughout that section. Now with the last part at the top, you're just going to split this wherever your parting is. And then taking half of this section, you'll just want to clip some out of the way. And for me, this section's going to go under. Now with your top section again, you want to bring back the part that you clip to the side and split this into two. Now with this back section, again, I'm going to curl this under. And with this, I'm just going to pull this down and just twist my straighteners slightly so that I get, that I get a um, a slight curl but I don't want too much of a curl in my fringe. And then just do this on the other side. Okay so you're finished with your curling. You can either leave it like this, this is still um, quite ringlety for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my paddle brush again and gently tease out the curls at the bottom. Then using Charles Worthington Results Light Control Finishing Cream, I'm just going to sm get a small section of this onto my fingers again. Run it through my hands and that's just going to go on the ends just to define my layers. Then using my System Extra Hold Hairspray for all hair types, just going to spritz this through the hair and across the fringe. And there's your finished look. Um, let me know what you think of the tutorial below and if you give this a go, let me know how it's turned out for you. Um, if you'd like me to show you a smaller curl using a different technique, then just let me know. Um, and I, I hope to enjoy the tutorial. Thank you for watching.